Alright, I believe that this, this wine represents his blood. And the bread is just a symbol of his flesh. But this kid over here believes that this is actually his blood. And this is actually his actual flesh. Yes, I do believe this is his blood and his flesh. When the priest blesses the blood, I mean the wine, and the food, it turns into his flesh and his blood. So, when you drink the blood, and you eat the body, what do they actually taste like? Well, um... Mmm, man. The silky smooth taste to my esophagus, really... It tastes like Jesus' blood, actually. And how about the body? Mmm.
Oh, yeah. Hello. I'm Allison McDonald, and I'm going to be interviewing Corinne McDonald over here about what she learned from Stuart's video project today. Now, Corinne, what did you learn about Mussolini? <laughs> what did you learn about Martin Luther King? <laughs> that he fought what, for what he believed was true. Okay. <laughs> okay. What did you learn about him concerning communion? He wasn't willing to back down. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about, like, the blood. What did he believe as far as that goes? He stood strong. <laughs> Um, well, we thought that during the story, we should show how... Can I just take it? Yeah, go for it. All right, let's go. We thought that we should uh, incorporate some, like, running around in, throughout the war of, like, how, how they found uh, Zwingli and uh, Charles V. So we did, um, like, a lot of running around to try and... Uh, then, well, well, hang on, hang on. Can I take that back? Yeah, all right, we're good. So, and then we did all that, and then we got to the end of the story, and we did uh, the scene where Charles V killed Zwingli, and uh, it's actually kind of funny because we went over to the neighbor's yard and uh, come and find out the dogs were outside, and we didn't know. So the dogs came in, and we incorporated the dogs a little bit, scared them a little bit. So then he came in, and... Uh, I killed him, a.k.a. me, Charles V. Yeah. Wow, that was a great illustration of what really went on during that. Really enjoyed that. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Trevor. Hi, I'm sitting here with uh, Kevin McDonald. I'm going to ask him a couple questions about what he learned from the boys' video today. Now, Kevin, what did you learn about Martin Luther King? Martin Luther... Martin Luther. I'm sorry, do you want to clarify? Was that Martin Luther King or Martin Luther? <laughs> Martin Luther. Martin Luther. <laughs> Yeah, I learned absolutely nothing today. As a matter of fact, absolutely nothing. Interesting. What did you learn about Zwingli? Yeah, I, I don't even have a clue who Zwingli is. I learned absolutely nothing about him. Interesting. Now, as the boys were going today, running through the bushes, swording... What's a sword? <laughs> Lightsabering and so on. What did you really learn about the war through that? Uh, absolutely not. Interesting. Now, as far as how hard they worked today on their video project, what can you say about that? Well, Allison, I know it's pretty hot out there today. I, you know, I know the boys worked hard. I don't know why you're sticking that right in my mouth because you really don't have to do that. But I know the boys worked hard. Uh, it was it was hot out there. I know I went out and spent a little time doing some of the video work today, and um, yeah, it was extremely hot. I know the boys worked very very hard. They were out there all afternoon. Uh, actually, for it seems, what seems like a couple of days, they actually worked out there on this project. So I'm sure it's going to turn out well. I'm sure their teacher is going to give them a very high A on this project. And I'm just excited about the whole thing. Thanks for your time, Kevin.